Hi. <laughs> Hi. Sorry. I Hi. Sorry. I think it was having some internet issues. This is Roxanne Jackson um, going live with the Schloss Museum and Gina Beavers. Hello there. Hi. Sorry, How's I was having some technical issues with internet. Oh God. It looks so beautiful there. Oh yeah, I had to I had to step out of my studio, so we'll see what happens. Oh my gosh. Is is that like a rock face behind you? Yes, this is limestone. So this is where I am this is why I'm here right now. Um oh. and look at this fog. Can you oh. see it? Oh my God, so pretty. And the leaves, you should come visit. <laughs> oh yes, please. I love that this is how we're getting to know each other on this platform. <laughs> totally. <laughs> wow. Well, well how are you this morning, Gina? I'm here. But it's good, yeah. Are yeah. you in the studio? Yeah, I'm here in my very like dour office. It's like very messy. Um, but I'm gonna, yeah, hopefully, I just moved in a couple weeks ago. So I'm like trying to set it up. But do you have um, so do you have some work there? Yeah, sure. Do you want to um, let me take you on a little tour? Yeah, let's have a quick tour. Okay, or, cool. or so, not yeah, so, have to be quick. This is my office. I may put my mask on sometimes because I have people helping me um this is my hand sanitizer and my um well can you see that <laughs> my temperature reader so oh yes yeah very unfortunately good. it's only like in centigrade which actually is great for our viewers because um yeah <laughs> actually gina actually gina before you talk about your work i guess yeah should, um properly introduce ourselves. I'm oh, yeah. Jackson, Georgina Beavers. We are here on live Instagram with the Schloss Museum yes. in Austria for the exhibition Friends and Friends of Friends. Yes. You, you want to add to that intro? Yeah, no, I think it's so awesome. I mean, the idea of the show is artists' connections and friendships within you know, the age of social media. So um, it's kind of awesome that, you know, we know each other through Ollie, who is one of the curators of the show with Andrea and um, also Annika, who is I think somewhere on the feed. Um, but yeah, we, so, but we're really officially meeting and hanging out like through this platform. <laughs> um, and it, it's really interesting to me. I actually was going to ask you like how you, think about social media in your work and, and in, in your career, like, um, how has it functioned in terms of like meeting people and, um, I don't know, getting ideas for work or I, I don't know, but, um, yeah, well, one thing that's very directly related to this exhibition is I know Ollie through social media. That's how we connected. Um, I had some work in an exhibition in London at Cobb Gallery, and London bought a piece. There he is right there. He just joined. And um, he posted it on social media, and I didn't know who he was. And that's how we connected. Um, I started following him, and we started just uh, chatting. Hi, Ollie. I know you joined. We're talking about you right now. Your ears must have been burning. And um, then we talked about having a two-person exhibition. So we showed together just over a year ago at Duva Berlin. And I visited him. I did his residency um, in London at Plop that he has with um, Andrea, who also helped uh, pick the artist for the show. And yeah, I mean, honestly, that was a really, really great connection and friendship. Like, really, I'm talking about friendship. Yes, a lot of professional things came out of that relationship. But we met because of Instagram. Right. And I also met you yesterday yeah. on Instagram, even though I've known of your work for a really yeah. long time. And, um, you yeah. know, there's a lot of artists that I have, you know, been following or inspired by their work that someday I meet. And there's kind of a sense when you see someone's work, there's already kind of a sense that you know who they are to a certain degree. But then mm -hmm. when you see their work on Instagram, you see their personal posts, 
then I think that kind of helps sort of bridge a gap and makes people feel more connected. So mm -hmm. that really is truth. And then I post, so I use it for my career a lot. You know, artists can share their work with or without a gallery with social media platforms. Yeah. Totally. What about you? What do you think? Yeah, no, I remember like, I guess, when did I get on Facebook? Like, 15 years, I don't know, 18 years ago or something like that. And somebody like, I was very much just like unknown, didn't know how to get my work out there at all. And, um, someone, John Lutz, um, shout oh, yeah. Out, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> got in touch with me for a group show on Facebook. And it was, I was just like freaking out like, Oh my God. Oh my God. This is so amazing. Like I had no, you know, before that, I didn't, I was so isolated. I didn't really, yeah, know how to do this at all. Um, so it just opened up a whole new thing. And I, back then, too, it was like you could see who was going to be at openings because um, it would be like so-and-so is going to this opening. You'd be like, oh, I'm going to go hang out with someone that, you know, like. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's been totally amazing. And just on Instagram and DMs, like meeting all sorts of artists and chatting about different things globally too like they could be anywhere so it's yeah been really awesome yeah that's for sure yeah. so um let's see some of your work that's in the studio okay, cool. i'm like freaked out because my phone is like very low but it's not gonna die but um <laughs> so let me see if i can get this in before uh, i have to plug it in again okay here we go um okay so walking, um, I have um, just setting up this little painting studio here. Sorry, I'm like, I have two helpers who are down there. We have masks on, so. <laughs> oh shoot, you froze for a second. They're back. Yeah, yeah. Okay, am I here again? Okay, good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so crazy. Okay, so I'm walking down. Um, I have this little space set up that's like a little gallery. Um, and I have a couple finished works in here. Um, there's this one. I don't know if you can see. And there's this one. It's so uh, great to see that huge scale with you in the foreground. That's amazing. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, these are about four by four feet. Um, this one is the Picasso Lichtenstein. Um, so the lips also match the lips in here. Oh my God, I'm really bad at moving my camera, but yeah. So yeah, so those are two kind of finished. I can show you some of the other rooms that there's not much going on. Um, there's a, uh, this, this room has a garage door. <laughs> Sorry. That's what I'm like, most excited about. We also have like a carving room through there, a projection room. Um, anyway, so I'm, this is basically just like my studio <laughs> more than my work because I don't have that much. I do have a little for smaller works in the back here. I'm doing, I have a little setup. Um, yeah. And then we have like a little break room. So well, do you sure. want to talk about, you could show um, an image or two from the show and talk about those. Yes, yes, want. let me do that. Let me also plug in my thing here. Okay. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Uh, pictures, yes. So... Um, not to be... I don't see the picture thing at the bottom. How do I? I think it's I think it's down on the right. I think it's the icon on the bottom right. Hmm. No, not working. I can do this. Oh wait, is one of these photos here? Oh no, <laughs> I'm just I'm just triggering. Oh nice. Oh, I want to oh. do that. <laughs> No, I just have like, it can either, oh wait, maybe in comment? No, I don't know how to share images.
Maybe we can switch Okay, over. well, I can, I'm in my studio, so we okay. can just go back and forth a little bit. Um, okay. Actually, it's like, yeah, it's a different, we, everyone, we practiced yesterday, but it yeah. is a different, I do have a different format. Oh, no, I don't. Okay. So one thing I was going to show was that, um, you can, can you see that, Gina? Yeah, totally. How did you do that? I pressed the bottom icon on the bottom right. So, <laughs> yeah, I guess you can't really, you can see part of it. You can, you can still see me, right? Oh, my yeah, God. I can see so you. Crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're like, well, look how savvy we are on Instagram. I know. How do you do this? The show is I'm... about technology. <laughs> I know. Oh my goodness. So embarrassing. I can't even. Okay. No, anyway, it's been a really great show. I did make this dragon piece. So I had some other images here queued up, but I, um, here's an install pic, but I did make this dragon piece. It was a collaboration um, with an artist, Jefferson Nelson. And mm. um, it, Honestly, it was a very epic process and um, I was, I left New York City during the pandemic and the first, I had more images here, but I can't find them. The first iteration of the dragon head, which is in the show, it's a three part piece that sits on the floor, sort of in the style of a Loch Ness monster. But the first iteration of the dragon head, like crashed and burned, literally fell onto the floor into a gazillion pieces beyond repair. Here's um, a detail of the dragon head. Um, this is the second version. Once the pandemic hit New York, I think my energy was just so frantic. Well, it definitely was. Um, mm -hmm. So my friend invited me to go to Ohio and make the piece there. And then I very organically started um, kind of collaborating with him. There's just some detail pics. But so, cool. so that piece is in the show. But I also wanted to show a piece um, I've been working on this series, and Gina, it sort of reminds me of your work, but I can't find the main. It's weird. I'm only seeing some images. But here's, I've been making these bases. Oh, they're yeah. They're like blue and white, so they're like reference delftware. Here's just a detail. And they oh. have these mouths all over yeah, them. Um, yeah, I love that. For some reason, I'm only accessing some of my images. I'm going to show a few more, and then we're going to go back to you and see if you can um, access those images. This piece is called Microdosing. It's in the collection of Ali F, which is also in the museum <laughs> show. And um, this piece was, which is a monster paw. And then, so I'm not in Brooklyn right now. I'm upstate in my secondary studio. And I just have a few pieces here that I'm going to show. And then we'll go back to you, Gina. And you okay, yeah, something. this is great. Oh my gosh, it looks so gorgeous too. So I make a lot of these like monster paws and you know there's it's sort of like riffing on a theme over and over again can you see it it is very can you see what's happening am i yeah doing your that's awesome yeah oh you're wait doing like green with that screen. Really, it's so I tech get, savvy it's like well, amazing how do i get rid of the image oh shoot <laughs> no, no 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 how do i get rid of the image in the screen what's your material someone's asking ceramics oh nice can, yeah Let's go to you. You show some, and I'm going to try to figure. Okay, figure this here. Out. Oh my gosh, I have a, a plan, which is to, to <laughs> show Instagram. you on my computer screen. Does this work? That's a good um, idea. <laughs> of course, I can't actually wait. Oh, oh, I just had to import ten thousand photos in, in, in order to show you, but I can't make them large. Oh my god. Are you asking, somebody's asking, what's your material? I'm not sure if they're talking to me or you. Yeah. Um, oh, baby, you answer that and then I'll uh, we'll both. We can both answer it. Yeah. My material is primarily ceramics. Um, and then there's mixed media. As you can see here, there's a candle and there's rhinestones and jewelry. Um, there's fur. It depends on the piece, actually. Um, this is a new piece. I'm just going to try to show it. We'll go back to Gina. It's like, this is all ceramic. It looks like sausage or hamburger meat coming out of a meat grinder. And then it's a big old hand holding a hot dog. Um, but it's all ceramic with fur. Oh, so cool. mostly my medium is ceramic. Gina, what's your medium? Well, I was going to ask you the fur. The fur is underneath those hands, right? The like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's very cool. I love that. And it, is that, does that serve as sort of a functional thing as well as a, like, because it kind of braces it or gives it sort of a soft? Um, I don't really think of it as functional. Yeah. That's funny. Um, yeah. 
I think of it more like it's absurd and it's also like um, yeah. so irreverent in a way uh -huh. to like yeah. do that through a ceramic piece. The ceramic. Yeah, it's really awesome. Um, yeah, also, I was looking on your just site. Them. What? I just said the pieces just need for. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm sorry. yeah. No, it's awesome. Um, I was looking at the images on your site and you have like they're like monster claws. Is that what you call them? Or Yes. Yeah. Yeah. What What is the like thinking behind those what are you um well it's really kind of about the idea and then we're going to come back to you because i saw a couple questions one is um annika wants us to turn the puppy faces on but i, I so we're going to get to that but okay. to, so to answer <laughs> your question the monster paws are kind of about um the, the perspective or the perception of like what it means to be feminine and like what is appropriate for being mm -hmm. feminine so it's kind of like the monstrous feminine. So it's a symbol of a hand, which is kind of related to the original art that we saw in caves, for instance, cave paintings, or even the first ceramics, which is a really, really old art form that was made with the hand, literally fingerprints in the clay. So there's something about the evidence of the hand relates to our humanness. So mm -hmm. um, that I think that's one reason I'm making this, but they mm -hmm. also ha have like, very elaborate nails and mm -hmm. I know that you do that in your work too sometimes and it's kind of like mm -hmm. the expression of the grotesque exaggerated feminine and mm -hmm. they're always like monster paws but we don't get to see what the rest of the bean looks like so we have to use our imagination mm -hmm. and also Ollie wants you to talk about the Justin Timberlake painting in the show so maybe you want to pull that up on your screen and talk about that and talk about the medium and in the meantime I'm going to look for the puppy, um, whatever those things are called. <laughs> oh yeah, so, um, yeah, the Justin Timberlake piece, which I, I, I don't know, I must have like a different version or I don't know what's going on, but I can't actually access photos without like leaving. So um, I'm just gonna try to pull it up on my computer and then show you that way. Um, but it was basically a meme uh, let's see if I can find the photo. Um, oh, <laughs> this is when you find out that I'm like, not very, no, I, yeah. So basically let me talk about it. It's a meme with Justin Timberlake's face, like, uh, a hundred times, maybe sometimes very tiny and sometimes larger. Um, zoomed in and it's just the same photo cropped like a hundred different ways um, and it the the tagline to the meme is it's going to be May and it's it's posted or the first time I saw it posted was at the end of April so um, it's this joke about that song it's going to be me but when Justin Timberlake sings it, it sounds like it's going to be my you know um, so <laughs> it's just like the dumbest kind of meme, but at the same time, as an abstraction, it's really cool. Um, let me try one more time to find it. I have it on my computer. I'm just not sure if I can. Um, let me see. Uh, sorry, I know this is really boring. Me like looking at my computer. Um, also, does it work? Um, uh, Oh man, I just like can't think. It's in a folder in my photo folder. Do you do you, don't, do you like Justin Timberlake? Tell us the truth. I mean, I do like Justin Timberlake. I think that he's had sort of a rough go of it because there was the whole um, wardrobe malfunction with Janet Jackson at Super Bowl halftime. And do you think that was of, actually an accident? Well, I don't know, but I think he kind of left her out in the cold on that. So. I don't know. I think he's kind of, you know, um, and then there's been all these conversations about him appropriating black culture and his music, which I think a lot of that is pretty valid. So, but I, I do love him. Yeah. And I have a friend who lived near a thrift store in Southern Florida when, you know, when Justin Timberlake was still with the boy band and they would all, they would come back from tour and give this thrift store all of their costumes from tour and my friend would go in and buy all these amazing like <laughs> ridiculous costumes from you know from 20 years ago from his well, 
Um, well, to, to move on from him for a second, I see a question from um, Annika, which says, um, mm -hmm. to you, Gina, is your work yeah. inspired by YouTube makeup tutorials? Yes. Yeah, for sure. Uh, let's let's um, talk about that. Yeah. In fact, so like, um, appropriate a lot of makeup tutorials um, that I find. I just really love the idea that, you know, I can make them into paintings where the painting is kind of drawing and painting itself. And it's, it's also like wanting to be liked. So um, I don't know, I was just like really fascinated with makeup artists because they talk about like pencils and paintbrushes and pigment and all these things that, you know, artists do as well. Um, so it's kind of like, where is this line between, you know, something high art and something like just makeup related? Um, there is no line, you know, in a certain way. So I'm like super interested in that. Wait, somebody said to go full screen. I don't know how to. <laughs> I think I think they're telling me to do that. Oh, OK. Because I have this. I think they're saying that. Oh, I see. And, for you. And, um, yeah. yeah. Not sure how to do. Th oh, like that. Oh, there you <laughs> are. Nice. Uh, OK, I'm going to look for more questions. Oh, okay. Ollie Up said go full screen. That was Ollie Up. Is that what you meant, Ollie? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm just looking through to see if there's more okay, um, cool. questions. There's there's lots of compliments. That's nice. I don't know who they're for, but let's just say they're <laughs> for us and the show.